What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on something that I don't think is getting enough attention in the hockey world. And I know people are going to get on me for talking about women's hockey too much, but quite frankly, I don't care. I think it's a cool story, and I'm going to talk about it because it's my show. And if you don't like it, there's the unsubscribe button. So, anyway, um, Shannon Zabinus, Canadian women's goalie, uh, actually played a game for the Tri City Americans, you know, 10, 11 years ago. Uh, played in the Alberta Junior League and was, you know, pretty sought after, you know, really good player. And, um, you know, played midget hockey with the with men with the boys. I guess, yeah, your your boy played midgets. You're not an adult yet, um, and you know has an amazing track record at playing at a high level. Was um, she's playing for the Columbus Cotton Mills of Southern Pro League, and she's got two wins on the season, or yeah, two wins, and is, is playing, you know, really well. And it's you know first woman to really um, you know break it down and play that well in the Southern Pro League. And I get it's a Southern Pro League. You know, it's not exactly, you know, the AHL, but it's it's definitely a really cool thing for women's hockey. Uh, she's one of the better goalies in the world. And, um, you know, to see her, her playing at such a high level is, uh, is really amazing. And I don't think it's getting enough cre enough press around the, um, the hockey communities, um, which I think is a shame. And if you remember what I said after the Olympics, I said, you know, people care about women's hockey. Two weeks a year, two weeks every four years. You know what? I want to. I think it's a great game. I think the game's just as good there. And I, you know, I like them wide in my horizons when it comes to hockey. And quite frankly, you know, I think this is a story that needs to be talked about more. She's an amazing goaltender, and um, you know, it's getting it done at you know at, at a pro level that most men couldn't get to. I mean, you know, people say, "Oh yeah, well, it's a Southern Pro League." Yeah, did you get to the Southern Pro League? Nope. Although I gotta admit, if I played um, college hockey at the University of Tennessee, like my dream was, I, I, I could have. Um, but you know this is um, this is big, and you look at the level of play around the world for for women's hockey. It's it's amazing, and um, you know she's she's turning some heads, and she's going to be a um, a big time reason why you know more girls around the world start start picking up and start playing hockey because you know if she can do it, you know why can't you do it? And you know I think it's refreshing to see my thing, and I talk about ad nauseum in the context of hockey in the United States in terms of expanding to other markets um, and I talk about how much I love to see the game grow this is the growth of the game you know in a in a wider context and you know I, I am a student of the game I'm a you know I'm a hockey lifer you know I want to see what's best for the game is what I want and seeing her out there turning heads and you know really playing very very well in the Pro League is what I want to see I want to see more people regardless of gender where they're from what state what province what country I want to see more kids playing hockey, and um, you know this is going to inspire a whole new breed of uh, female goalies. And hey, you know maybe one of them will start for Canada, the World Juniors, because you know God knows they need goaltending help. If you look at the last five years, Chirp City, what? That was an awful joke, but you catch my drift. So again, awesome story. You guys should be looking into it, and uh, we're going to keep talking about hockey every now and then. We're, we're still waiting on that Hillary Knight interview. I talked to the team, and you know that's a whole messy situation right now. It's not her fault at all. It's not her fault or my fault. It's just something's kind of. Break it. You don't like him. Um, anyway, that's on some sort of the power play with CJ. Uh, Shannon Zabadas playing for the uh, Columbus Cotton Miles. Awesome team name. Uh, they're in Columbus, Georgia, not Columbus, Ohio. Uh, the Southern Pro League. Stay tuned for episode to the season and beyond. Later, guys.